the forehead of your robot. During a winter period in July 2010 in the Southern Hemisphere, the 19-year-old Peruvian student, Luis Peña, saw his grandma watching the news channel on the television, but he realized that his grandma was feeling cold. He asks her if she was okay, and so, she says. Luis, I need medicine for my headache. The medicine has run out, so you can get the medicine from Juan's pharmacy. But be careful, there are muggers who show up from time to time, especially at night. What's more, they kidnap not only young people, but also very old people, just like me. And then, he says. That's okay, I'll be careful. Kisses. Arriving at the pharmacy, Louis realizes that the place is empty, with only one, the cashier, and himself left. But ignoring the situation, he takes the medicine, puts it straight in the till, pays with his debit card and leaves. Arriving home, Louis opens the medicine, takes out the pill and gives it to his grandma. She then asks. Have you seen any muggers? He says, no, with all his certainty, and his grandmother says, good. As soon as his grandma has taken her medicine, Louis almost forgot something. His laptop hadn't been turned off for a few hours. So he turns off his laptop and goes to sleep in his room. The next day, the young man wakes up with all the kindness and empathy in the world, brushes his teeth, washes his face, and when he went to see his grandma in the living room, she was dead. At that moment, the young man became sad, cried, and realized that there was really no turning back. All his relatives were dead. Realizing that it was the worst day he'd ever had, he turned on the TV, and to his surprise, every channel he saw had the following message. Anna Gonzalez is dead. Realizing that his television has been hacked, he investigates the case and, incredible as it may seem, other residents are also having the same problem. Wendell Sanchez Flores, the nearest resident says. It was almost midnight, and I heard a very loud scream that supposedly came from the TV in my mother's room. When I looked, it read, Eliza Sanchez is dead. I was shocked. I did everything I could to wake my mother up, but nothing. But I'm still depressed. Lewis interviews other people and, however real or not, all the cases were the same. Lewis is confused, but decides to investigate further, and discovers that the owner of all this was none other than Eliza Jr. Rogers. Lewis tries to call the police, but immediately, the criminal tries to point his gun and shoot, but Lewis kicks him in the shin and the police arrive in time. Eliza is arrested and everything is resolved. 